It's the nightmare scenario that those who fear flying all dread. One of the engines on a jetliner completely malfunctions. This is definitely not a scenario that anyone would choose, but is there any need to panic in this situation? The short answer to this question is definitely not. Twin-engined aircraft can function perfectly adequately on one engine, both landing and taking off without difficulty. In fact, besides being a major inconvenience and logistical pain, most airlines and pilots wouldn't even view losing an engine during flight as a particularly serious problem, with all personnel on board an aircraft trained extensively to deal with it. Pilots are taught to follow basic aviation rules regardless of the severity of any particular incident. There are various protocols in place to ensure that pilots know how to react when an engine fails, depending on the engine status, which means that an engine outage should very rarely be considered a serious problem. It'll even be possible to restart the engine in many cases, and some passengers on board may never even realize that there has been a problem. It should also be noted that the chances of engine failure in the first place are pretty slim. Safety statistics indicate that this is literally a one in a million scenario, and most pilots will only ever experience an engine failure during the simulation phase of their training. All twin-engine aircraft are assigned what is known as an Extended Twin-Engine Operations Rating, or ETOPS for short. This designates the amount of time that a particular two-engined aircraft is certified to fly while one engine is non-functional. The higher the ETOPS rating, the longer it can be expected to last. To examine some of the most well-known aircraft out there, the highly rated Boeing 787 Dreamliner has an ETOPS rating of 330 minutes, while the Airbus A350-900 has an even longer ETOPS rating of 370 minutes. With this latter rating being over 6 hours, Airbus states that this enables the A350 to cover an impressive 4,630 kilometers of distance on a single engine. There are consequences of losing an engine, though. Losing 50% of an aircraft's power will have an influence over altitude, meaning that aircraft will have to resort to an intermediate altitude for the duration of the remainder of the flight. It can also be slightly trickier to land the plane, although all pilots are extensively trained to deal with this. We try to report on incidents like these every month in a summary video something you'll be able to find on the playlist called Simple Flying Summarizes. Overall, while an engine outage can be potentially alarming for those on board, modern airline technology ensures that the risk to passenger and crew safety is minimal. Of course, the cost in time and money and subsequent frustration of passengers in the case of a diversion are the other issues that airlines will have to deal with. Have you ever been on a flight that lost the functionality of one engine? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.